Welcome back to Crafting with Core Chapter 4. Today I was going to work on the Iron Golem Farms. Oops, I don't want to look at this guy. Uh, and I decide where to put them. They're going to be up in the air. One of them is going to... What? Well, I didn't look at you. Oh my gosh. This is such a great start. Uh, I was going to put... Where did he even go? I don't know. Uh, I was going to put one up there and one there and then two more um, let's see there and there and have um, four of them in a square up in the air I think that would look kind of cool to have and then have the golems just drop down to I don't know probably zero uh, height and then uh, I don't know exactly how I'll kill them or get the iron but I think that would be cool to just have them falling through the air like that uh, and I can always expand that upwards, um, I think, two more times, because that's at uh, 100, y equals 100. And I could build another one at y equals 70, or 170, and then another one at y equals 240. And then I would have a total of 12 golem farms if I needed that much iron. I don't know if I need that much iron or not, I doubt it. But it's always an... Is that him that's mad at me? I, I don't know. Um... But I can always uh, expand it if I need to, but at first I'll just have the four uh, cells of uh, golems uh, to start off with. Uh, and I wanted to show you the villagers. Oh my gosh, this guy. Okay. The villagers have been breeding, and uh, every. Oh! No, I thought I just saw one up there. Uh, every once in a while. I keep hearing these endermen, they're freaking me out. Okay. Uh, the villagers have been breeding well, as you can see, um, they're up to the point where each one that is, uh, bred and grows up forces, uh, another villager to die, which that guy looks like he's so close to actually getting to that point of getting sucked up to his death. I changed the tube from coming out over this to just going up to y equals 100 because there's this noise from the enderman, gosh. Uh, because that's how high the uh, golem farms are going to be and that's where I need them, I need these villagers to go. But uh, when I was thinking about what I wanted to build them out of, uh, I kind of decided on coal blocks and uh, lapis blocks. Oh, there's one down right there. Um, but Coal blocks aren't in the game until 1.6, which is the next update. So I can't really uh, make that yet. So instead, we're going to be working on a few other projects for just other things I need. So um, we'll get go to the first one right now, and then I'll meet back up with you. So I just grabbed the resources I need for the first build. Uh, some snow, some wood, and some water buckets, but I also need to fix my pick here. I got it down to four durability. I'm gonna, uh, use another pick and get it back up to full, so, yep, there's my new pickaxe. And then I'm also going to, uh, enchant this silk touch pick with enchant, or in efficiency five and unbreaking, but I don't have levels for that yet. So I'm gonna come down and kill some, uh, kill some mobs, enchant that, and then I'll head over to a taiga biome, and we'll start with our first build. So I found where we're gonna work first today. This is an ice river right in the middle of a huge uh, taiga or ice plains, one of the two. Um, it's right on the other side of the desert near the uh, stronghold. So I came over here, it's pretty close to my base, so it should be handy to come over here to collect some ice. Um, there was this ice river stretches along here, but also branched off here at first, and I started widening this um, so that this is just a huge ice uh, area here, and I'll build the ice tray for us to use right above that. Um, and hopefully the ice, all the ice kind of looks cool together. Uh, so I'm going to start building that and widen the river a little bit more, and then I'll get back to you. So this is the beginning of the Ice Collector. Um, I guess I need a better name for it than that, but uh, this is the start of it. 
I have this uh, temporary stair case coming up. The idea is that I have water source box along the edge that won't freeze because they're covered by a snow block above it. So uh, every block in between act though uh, will freeze because it is um, in a ice cold biome and it's um, open to the sun. Um, so each block will freeze and uh, when I use the pick it will instantly reform to a full block because there are two um, source blocks next to it. Uh, well except for right there because that's not the actual end, that's just a temporary end. But like right here and what this side will look like uh, when I finish is uh, it has a source block there and a source block there and um, since there's a solid block below it, it'll become a solid block or a solid source block of water. Um, so that's just it's just a repeating pattern. Uh, two open spots, then a row of uh, covered spots, then two open spots. And the trap doors hold the water up so that uh, it doesn't spill everywhere. And um, yeah, it's a pretty simple design. When it's all frozen. Let's not walk off the side. Okay, when it's all frozen, I'll just run along here with the pick going, swinging it. Uh, not too exciting, but it gets the job done. It's not too fancy, but uh, yeah, it should work really well. Uh, I'm not sure how big I'm going to build this. This is, uh, I think, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is seven um, long so far. And if I have two spots uh, for every... Uh, I guess row that's uh, already 2 times 7, 14 times 3 is 42. So it's already 42 eyes, and that's quite a bit. Um, I think I might do like 4 rows and have it go 16 blocks. Be f that'd be, I think, uh, 2 stacks of ice if I fully harvested it. Um, so that would probably be a good amount, uh, probably right, let's see, right, right in here, I'll have a nether portal and eventually I'll connect it up to the whole nether hub and nether track system. Uh, these, uh, lights won't melt the ice because, uh, there's a light, as long as the ice is, uh, light level 10 or below from a source other than the sun, they won't melt. So uh, the pumpkin, the jack o' lantern, is a light 15, so then 15, 14, where that snow block is, 13, 12, 11, where the trapdoor is, and then 10, where the snow block is. So it won't actually melt, but it will keep, uh, it'll keep this whole area safe from mobs, which is good. I don't want to have to, <laughs> I don't want to have to fight mobs while I'm in here. Although I might remove, once I finish this, I'll see how dark it is during the night, or how bright it is during the night. I might remove some of the lighting to make it just not really, really bright. But we'll see. Um, I was thinking about adding, I could take out take out all the snow, or all the jack-o'-lanterns and put uh, layers of snow down. Um, after a couple layers of snow, uh, it won't, uh, mobs won't spawn on it. So that that's an idea too, and I have a, only a little bit of clearance above this though, so I'm not sure how many snow blocks I can put down and still have uh, the ability to like walk underneath this. Um, and also, if I do it that way, it'll be this room will be totally dark during the night, which I don't know if I like that idea or not. So uh, I'm gonna finish building at least the 16 long four uh, rows of. Uh, this and then we'll see about um, lighting and how the flooring works uh, after that. So let me do that and I'll see you in a few minutes. So here's the finished product. I made it to the size that I said, uh, 16 blocks down. So there's a total of uh, 128 uh, ice that I can harvest or two stacks. Uh, I added another portal right over here that I haven't gone through yet, so I hope there's no problems with it linking up to other portals. Um, but I think it should be fine, or at least once I... I think I can get it working just fine. And I put some chests over here. I don't really have anything to put in them, but... Uh, 
I guess I can store ice there. I have a silk touch pick right here. Whoops, where'd they go? Oh. <laughs> so, you just grab it off the wall. Let's see, it's the first one. Then you just walk down like this. If you look kind of at the middle of the two, you can target both, and since it's uh, high efficiency, they'll both just break instantly. And, well, don't miss that one. I did end up adding lighting, add lighting to the floor because uh, I actually got mobs spawning in here when I would go to get more snow. So, um, did that. I tried adding uh, just layers of snow on the ground. But it got really, really dark in here, and the mobs wouldn't spawn, but it got really, uh, just dark and gloomy and didn't really look very nice, so, uh, I thought the snow would be a better choice. It's unfortunate that there's so much ice up on the edge. I wonder if there's any way that I can keep that from happening. I don't, I don't know of any way to do it, but it's kind of annoying that I have to kind of look along here. Though... It's only a couple, like, it's like one and a half stacks out of the two full stacks were just hanging there, and there's a couple, I guess, glitching, or, yeah, kind of glitching around, I don't, I don't know why that's happening. I don't know, so there's just five left hiding somewhere, but, yeah, I don't really need all this ice right now, so I'm just going to put it into this chest. So I don't really like having that open space, but snow putting snow blocks there would mean I couldn't open the chest. So it's not a great option. Uh, I was thinking about putting some kind of decoration around here, but I'm not sure what. Maybe change the floor to have some kind of patterns. Uh, carpets are coming out, or I could just use wool since it's just snow. Uh, replace the snow with wool and make a colorful, colorful pattern. Um... Yeah, there's some options, or maybe put paintings on the wall. I tried where are they? putting trap doors along the wall, but I don't really know how that looks. I like, put, put them all along that wall and that wall. But then there's still this big white space in the middle, so that doesn't really help to break up that. So maybe, maybe some wool or uh, carpet would... Come on, trap door. Yeah, so maybe some wool or carpet would uh, kind of break up the monotonous floor. Uh, oh, there's some ice. Uh, so that's that. So next thing we're going to work on will require me going to a totally different part, back to the main base. So let's go there now. So the next thing to work on is going to be a chicken farm. It's actually going to be in the floor, kind of right here. The chickens are going to chill right in this area. Uh, they're going to lay their eggs on the ground, and hoppers will pick up the eggs and shoot them over um, somewhere else. I'm not really sure. Maybe back here somewhere, uh, which will then be put into dispensers and shut out. So then the uh, chickens, the one chickens will grow up over wherever they go like over there somewhere or maybe right over here uh, still like underneath the ground so we won't see this part um, then I'll have a lava uh, well, I guess I didn't grab lava whoops so I'll have a lava uh, dispenser that will shoot out the lava really quick onto the chicken and um, kill all the chickens and we'll have another hopper that picks up the cook chicken and the feathers and put them whoops put them into two chests and I'll I think I'll try to sort have the uh, items sorted into the correct chest so that's the plan uh, let me just get started and I'll get back to you once I have at least the first part uh, working so I just wanted to show you how far I am so far I have a uh, little area for chickens to go right here I accidentally put too many chickens in, so as they grow up, more and more of them die. So, yeah, that was not mine. <laughs> surprised me quite a bit when I started hearing them die randomly. So the plan is that they'll lay eggs in there, which will be picked up by hoppers. The eggs will come along here, 
get into this dropper, whoops, this comparator will pick up that signal and turn on a clock uh, here. And it, as this clock goes, uh, come over here and power this block. This doesn't actually do anything right now, but uh, powers this block, which powers both of these excuse me, powers both of these uh, dispensers. Or, sorry, droppers. These are both droppers. So if I put, uh, let's see, some cobblestone in there, you see that it starts uh, flashing because this comparator senses that there's stuff inside the dropper, turns off this torch, this torch is off, so this torch turned on and uh, starts this uh, clock. The reason why this is flashing is because uh, as this power comes in, um, it goes off to the left uh, and to the right to this torch. But that So that doesn't really matter, but uh, if this power, if this dust, redstone dust is powered from this torch, the clock is off, which is the normal state. So, anyway, as this dropper loses its items, that was perfect timing. Um, and there's a dead chicken. I don't know if you could hear that. I turned the sound down. Uh, so maybe we'll get some items here in a second. I don't know, we'll see. There's more and more dead chickens. So anyway, this block... Oh, did you see that? It flashed a couple times. Oh, there's an egg, even. Awesome. Wait, where is it? Oh, so this... Oh, sorry. I was wrong the first time. This block powers uh, this dropper. Where was that torch? Here we go. This torch powers this one. Uh, and flashes on and off to give this power that one up. And uh, the way that I take the signal up is by. I don't know. All I can hear is chickens dying constantly. Hopefully, that's not really loud for you. Um, I just heard it click, so I think it just went again. Then put another torch on top, so all these droppers will. Uh, toggle on and off as more and more um, eggs come through. And in the very top, let's see if I can get up, get up here. Okay. The very top is a dispenser, which uh, should shoot out the eggs. Come around here. Shoot out the eggs into this area. And I haven't tested this, so I'm really hoping it works, but should shoot out chickens into this spot, and if they uh, actually get a chicken, um, the baby chickens are only half a block high, so if they stand on the half slabs, uh, they won't get burned by the lava, but once they grow up, they're taller, so then they get burned by the lava, die, and we get cooked uh, chicken, and sometimes feathers, and there are uh, hoppers underneath the half slabs, and hoppers can pick up stuff underneath half, half slabs, same way that... Um, Eggs are picked up down there, and uh, the droppers, or sorry, the hoppers send the uh, cooked chicken along to a point right over here to this point right here. Oh, and somehow we got a feather in there. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, so I have a few uh, eggs, so I'm just going to throw that in there. can see him shooting out here. I saw a chicken shoot out. What? Like chicken meat. Um, not really sure what caused that. Let's, oh, I don't know. Let's grab some more chicken, uh, or some more eggs. I'm just gonna drop off actually everything because I don't need any of this right now. And let's just grab all of these and then drop off that. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to throw all of this... Well, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, what if I stand on top? There we go. I don't want to throw all of them because if no chickens actually... Oh! Well, there's a chicken. I was going to say, I don't want to throw all of them because if no chickens pop out, I don't want to waste all the eggs. But it looks like chickens are coming out. And I gave him a little space to walk around, just so that it's kind of like an aquarium, a very, uh, 
sadistic aquarium um, where the animals die. So anyway, I'm going to throw the rest of the eggs in there and clean this all up. Actually, no, I still have to work on that other part. So I'm just going to throw the rest of the eggs in there and work on the next part, uh, which should be a sorting system. I'm not sure where I want the chests. Um, maybe I'll put a couple chests along the walls. That, that might look cool. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you. So I just finished up the last part of this uh, project and uh, unfortunately I didn't get to catch all the first huge batch of chickens dying, but I got to collect all their stuff so that's, that's good. I got a whole bunch of cooked chicken and a whole bunch of feathers. Um, but it seems to be working. Um, I don't know if you just heard the clicking uh, behind my voice, uh, but that was... Whoops, just walking to that wall. Okay, uh, that was this clicking. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's some way to use less redstone delay, because uh, there's a delay on the torches and there's a delay on the uh, repeater. Uh, both repeaters, uh, so maybe there's some way to make it so it doesn't click as much. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that though. But uh, anyway, it's dispensing the eggs pretty well. Um, when the animals die, they uh, their drops come along here into uh, this dropper. Unfortunately, I needed the hopper chain to be one higher, so I have to do another um, kind of the same tower as I did down there. The uh, Comparator turns on a clock that continuously powers this dropper, which shoots the items up into this hopper chain. To this hopper chain, and it comes along to here. Um, and uh, this hopper down below acts as a filter uh, for cooked chicken. Um, as long as there are 22 cooked chicken in, or 22 of any item in a hopper. Uh, the comparator will only have a uh, power of one being shot out, but if you have a 22nd or a 23rd or more item, uh, the power will come down to two dust length, which will power this block, which will be oh there you saw it for a second uh, be caught by that signal will be caught by the repeater, which will be sent into this block, which will turn off this torch, which will unlock this hopper, which will pull that one item that was added uh, down into this uh, hopper which will be shot out into another hopper and then into I just saw like maybe it was just particles from that okay which will be sent into uh, the chest right there however if the items that come along here uh, aren't filtered out by this cooked chicken filter down here you just keep going uh, and are sent into that chest there. The only other item is going to be feathers, but I could test it with any item. Like if I threw in some cobblestone, uh, the cobblestone can't get into this filter, so they just come along here, and uh, you, can, you can see the cobblestone there. Um, it's getting pushed along into this chest over here. So, yeah, there's a feather, and... Oh, there's the cooked chicken that I was messing with. So, um, you saw some of the results, but we can test it all by just throwing, uh, let's throw the feathers and the cooked chicken in there. I don't see any other ones. Perfect. So, uh, it'll come along here, and maybe we'll see, actually, that's a, those were big stacks, aren't they? So, well, you can see this, uh, clock going, shooting the items up. From this dropper and coming along here and you can see the items pass through this hopper hopefully soon there will be oh there's a bird oh yeah the when it uh, doesn't show an item for like as it's like t flashing an item on and off that means that uh, a whoops that means that a cooked chicken went in when uh, the item that's being filtered out comes in here. It's immediately pulled out faster than uh, you can actually see it. So every like second or so that an, a feather is flashing there, that's actually uh, cooked chicken that's being pulled down. I 
I think I explained that really badly, but, uh, too bad. So, anyway, the cooked chicken ends up in this chest, and the feathers end up in that chest, and the last part of the job, let's see, actually, second to the last part of the job, I need to close this, where is it, perfect, and I need to take one of these out. Oops. Put that in there and take one of these out. Where did I put it? Oh, I didn't put it on my box. Okay. And there it is. I don't know how good that looks, but it's certainly good enough and uh, should work really well. Now that I look at it, I kind of want to change that to double chest, but yeah, and I'm not sure how this will work if I fill that up with uh, feathers or with cooked chicken, yeah so I'll have to think about that, maybe we'll have to come back here and fix this for uh, large amounts of items later, but now right now, now we're done with this project um, let me just check how long this video has been going and I'll get back to you so I just took a look at Virtual Dub, and it looks like uh, it's about 26 minutes, so this video is running a little bit long again. I'm shooting for about 20 minutes of video, but uh, that's okay. We had a lot to show, so uh, I don't know if I could cut it down too much. The two projects were totally separate, so running over isn't a bad thing, I guess. There's, there's more content for you guys to watch. Uh, hopefully we can get to the Iron Golem Farm next week. This is all the iron I have left, which is barely just over half a stack. Um, I have it spread out uh, just because that's just how I do it with all my all my stuff. Um, hopefully we can uh, get those coal blocks going because I have a lot of coal that I need to use that I don't ever really use. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week and hopefully we can work on the iron farm. Bye.